welcome to the plastic product design today we will discuss about the plastic manufacturing process and injection molding as in a last video we covered the detail of a plastic a type of a plastic then thermoplastic thermosetting plastic advantages of a plastic today we are discussing about the most important part of our plastic product design that is how the component plastic component are to be manufactured so there are a different type of a manufacturing method for uh, uh, manufacturing the plastic components such as uh, injection molding then blow molding then vacuum forming then uh, rotational molding 3d print, 3d printing etc but as uh, for the critical components Uh, and for the higher quality quality plastic product we are preferring for injection molding so let's see the detailed uh, introduction to the injection molding uh, so basically the injection molding is a repetitive process in which uh, melted or a plasticized plastic is ejected it is nothing but the forced into the mold cavity or a cavities where it held under the pressure until it moves uh, into the solid state so this is nothing but the process where we melt the plasticized material and again it forced by using uh, the devices clamping device and uh, eject device we are forcing that plasticized material into the core and cavity and after solidification uh, we can eject our part from the mold and cavity the mold may be consist of a single cavity or a number of a similar dissimilar cavities each can to the flow channels or a runner which directs the flow of the melt material to the individual cavities let's see the different parts of your automobile which made up of a injection molding first one that is your front bumper second that is the tank uh, of your charge air cooler so it is also made up of a pa66 uh, and glass fiber 30% to the 35% which is um, having the property of a heat resistance and uh, next one that is the door panel plastic door panel let's discuss about how the injection molding machine will work what are the different types of injection molding then different components of machine different situations or conditions to achieve the good quality product Uh, from the injection molding so the injection molding machine is that which melts the molding material inside the heat cylinder and eject it into the mold tool to create the molded component by solidifying itself uh, inside the machine this injection molding machine constructed into the two units first one clamping unit and injection unit the clamping device or a clamping unit which opens or a close the mold tool and operated by using the hydraulic motors or a cylinder uh, inject unit which used to inject the molten material into the mold which having specific core and cavity now we will move about the construction of injection molding machine uh, this is nothing but the schematic diagram or a constructional diagram of injection molding machine at the left side you can see the injection unit Uh, which is consist of a different parts like a uh, uh, feed hooper then cylinder uh, then cylinder uh, for the screw ram or a ramming uh, ramming screw we can say then a reciprocating screw nozzle and at the right side there is a clamping unit uh, which consist of a main uh, it means uh, it is the core and cavity Uh, then movable uh, plate and uh, clamping or a forcing uh, cylinders let's see injection unit and uh, its uh, different components in detail uh, first one that is the feed hooper which is used uh, uh, for feeding the raw material uh, inside the machine uh, for inserting or feeding the raw material uh, the material which is uh, used for molding is preheated to remove the moisture Uh, next one that is the heating cylinder the he he this cylinder consists of a ram screw used to force the melt, uh, molten plastic uh, 
or a plasticized material into the mold and it is operated by using the uh, hydraulic machine or a cylinders etc then heating coils uh, or a heater those coils or a heater is surrounded on the cylinder uh, which used to melt the raw material uh, next one that is the nozzle to force the plasticized material into the core and cavity the nozzle are used and we and this nozzle is nothing but uh, the connection between uh, those two units that is the inject unit and clamping unit let's see the detail of a clamping unit the clamping unit is used to hold the core and cavity under pressure uh, it consists of a mold uh, which is uh, nothing but the core and cavity uh, then stationary plate then movable plate tie rods uh, then clamping cylinders uh, motor or a clamping force uh, motor for the clamping force nowadays we observe that the use of a plastic component in a automobile is rapidly increasing uh, due to the different properties of a, of, a, of a plastic material uh, and the advantages of a plastic material such as a low weight easily available ideal for mass production uh, then critical shapes are easily manufactured by using the different molding uh, molding processes good surface finish and higher quality so to achieve thus all requirements and higher quality there are some mold conditions are need to be satisfied uh, let's see the resident temperature or a molten temperature next one that is the pressure there are a two types of a pressure uh, filling pressure and hold pressure uh, next injection speed next injection time back pressure mold temperature solidification let's see the first that is the molten temperature the temperature should be generally about 240 degrees celsius to the 260 degrees celsius liquidity will be the better to achieve the good component uh, pressure the injection pressure uh, can be considered first one filling pressure that is called as a primary pressure also and second one that is the hold pressure uh, it is nothing but the secondary pressure generally filling pressure set stronger than the hold pressure if the hold pressure increases it will be affect the component skin and uh, maybe the plastic defects came in the picture the pressure is set as per the different component its size shape and the mold and tool design and next one injection speed the injection speed plays most important role during the molding cycle during the thin molding product that is the small thickness product and in case of a multi mold uh, multi mold product where the precision is required at such condition faster injection speed is a better to achieve the better result injection time the injection time set as per the different machines and part of a different size and shape Normally, it considered as a summation of a filling time plus pressure keeping time or this time should be the greater than the material stopped flowing by the solidification at the gate part. Next one, back pressure. Normally, the screw back pressure is about 5 to 10 kg per centimeter square. If the back, if the back pressure is too stronger, it might uh, degrade the plasticization ability next mold temperature generally 60 degree celsius to the 80 degree celsius is suitable for the mold temperature this is most important point in the molding condition if the molding cycle is a high by using uh, if the molding cycle is high uh, then definitely the temperature is going to be uh, increasing for that the coolant uh, is used to control the temperature if all conditions are get controlled then uh, we get a qualitative product otherwise we will face the different uh, plastic defects or a uh, molding defects such as uh, warp edge uh, then appearance defect burnt out weld mark sink mark uh, then uh, wrong uh, uh, wrong measurement etc next injection mold construction the injection mold can be repre uh, can be separated into the two different levels in the mold core is movable part which consists of a slider 
lifter, flow channel, runners, eject pin, etc. While the cavity is a fixed part of the mold, both are separated by each other by the part line or parting surfaces. So in the image, you uh, uh, that which one is the cavity and which one is the core. You can see the moving side uh, is at the bottom and fixed side at the top. And this is nothing but the example for one simple product and also the snap is uh, here in the in this component. This is also the layout cavity side and core side. Then also there are eject uh, ejection system you can see moving slide top work that is a uh, first one the, uh, at the top stationary side which is one the fixed side and spore and a runner system this is the layout for core which is nothing but the moving side uh, you can see the slider here those are nothing but the eject eject back plates bottom plate separators those are also sliders so slider are used for uh, uh, where the component having the critical shapes or undercuts uh, to remove those uh, from tooling direction we are using the slider then core holder So next one that is the cavity which is a fixed side the cavity holder top plate and cavity insert slider so if the product is critical or some undercuts uh, undercut shape there in the there there is in the product design then we are using the slider uh, and a different type of a lifter in the mold If your part it's not able to eject from your tooling direction then we are using such type of a slider here so parting surface the parting surfaces of the mold are those portion of the both mold plates uh, of the both mold plates are adjacent to the uh, impression which bud together to form a seal or prevent the loss of a plastic material from the impression. So parting surfaces are different as per the different shape of your component. So it looks like a straight line uh, in the image. Then uh, here the shape is like C. So in the next image you can clear. So different type of a parting surface and a flat parting surface step parting lines or step parting surfaces then uh, mismatch parting surfaces uh, this is nothing but the 3d layout for part easily uh, it will clear easily so feeding channel so feeding device which used to flow the plastic or a molted material. It start from the spur brush orific and finished at the component. It includes spur, then main runner, sub runner, so feeding channel, uh, the spur is a channel through which the molten plastic is ejected from the machine nozzle to the mold so as we already discussed the nozzle which connects to the clamping unit and mold uh, eject unit and clamping unit so uh, this will be connected by by the spore and uh, through that spore the molten plastic uh, material is entered into the mold so you can see here uh, the runner and spore then gate also and this uh, rectangular is nothing but the component 
this is actual uh, layout actual picture of a core and cavity next one feeding channel uh, next one in the feeding channel that is the runner runner is a channel that guides the molten plastic into the cavity of the mold or we can say runner are uh, are nothing but uh, defining the path to flow the molten plastic into the different cavities or a different area of your component so design consideration uh, the path or a flow of the runner has to be decided it should be balanced should not have any more restrictions runner length should be uh, as much as optimum the wall sections and volume of the molding and there uh, should not be any pressure loss so those are a uh, few of a design consideration while designing the feeding channel runner or a mold so this is a uh, layout for the and uh, runners so circular runner rectangular runner so runner uh, it's a running path or a runner path is decided as per the shape of your component then orientation and layout again so this will be the good and bad the se se section secondary runner smaller than the main runner so this is most important consideration so you can see this will be the good design and this will be the poor design because of no cold slug uh, walls are provided in this design and here it is already so this is most important consideration design consideration uh, then feeding channel uh, next in the feeding channel that is the gate so gate is a entrance through which the molten plastic material enters into the core uh, enters into the core cavity of your mold here are a different type of a gates so i think uh, those are covered in the engineering also so design consideration similarly it should be easily fill the cavity or a multi cavity then position positioning of a gate this is the most important consideration uh, you have to select the proper position of your gate then balance gating of a bigger component so if one gate is not um, uh, sufficient then different uh, positions you need to design a different position to fill fill the total area of your product it should be easy degrade after degrading only a small wall thickness mark uh, remain so um, uh, this is also most important uh, design consideration and different gate position you can see here it is offset first one that is the three plate mold center gate uh, next one is the edge gate the cooling channel so as we uh, we already discussed that if the higher cycled uh, injection molding of a or your component is a bigger then it required much more time uh, to do the operation uh, so that the temperature or a working temperature of your mold is get increases due to the uh, higher uh, shape of your component that's why Uh, to maintain 6 uh, 60 degree celsius to the 80 degree celsius mold temperature it requires some external cooling uh, let's see in the detail in the injection mold the molten plastic material is injected into the mold so during the injection molding process the mold get heated and it required to cool down there is in uh, therefore in the mold the cooling channels are required also we have to take care that the mold temperature should not go below uh, of your required temperature also so 60 degree celsius to the 80 or 90 degree celsius we have to maintain that's why we are using the different type of a cooling channel let's see the tips uh, so design of a cooling channel water lines in the parallel water lines in the series so uh, here you can see the rectangular 
cooling channels so different as per the component so specific cooling channel you can see the conductor uh, for the undercuts um, uh, or a thermal pin cooling uh, for where the undercuts uh, in your component then cooling pin core and deep raw areas so those are pictures actual picture of your cooling channel this is nothing but the mold and those are lines cooling lines inlet and outlet connectors so let's see the 3d uh, design of a cooling channel the hello portion uh, you can see in the image out and in so those are hello portion or a pipe like structure is nothing but the cooling, cooling channel side core so this is uh, we are in inlet close up then down and it out so this is a uh, flow lines cooling flow lines ejection system so it is most important uh, to eject your component without any breakage so after molding the component has to be removed from your mold but during the cooling the uh, during the cooling time the molten material gets solidifies and shrinks towards the center of your component so that it stuck into the core half if removing of the component in this stage in this stage uh, uh, it is uh, somewhat difficult that's why ejection system is used generally it constructed in the core half so you can see uh, here the 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 so uh, the circumference at the circumference of your component it, because of it is a circular component that's why some circular pins are there uh, you can see the sectional area ejection pin So from figure you can see the sleeve ejection system and ring ejection system. So the A portion that is the core, then ejector sleeves, ejector plate, ejector retainer plate, then KO pins screw and uh, next one that is the ring ejection. So this is the cross sectional area of uh, your mold and cavity. So at the top cavity, at the bottom that is the core, the KO pins, so those pins are flexible. The KO plate that will be moves upward, when we remove the cavity, then due to that stinner ring uh, and when we forces KO plate upwards, then your part is going to be eject from the core. Let's see the different type of a ejection system. Uh, first one angular core ejection. So from the first image you can see that the part is uh, get molded and we remove the cavity now the part is uh, under the hold condition because of uh, the undercut uh, we uh, given that uh, given one slider there. So how the part is going to be ejected because there is an undercut. So, uh, we design the undercut uh, slider such that uh, uh, there there is some uh, angular displacement uh, and the pin is used or angular uh, ejection system we are using to eject this part from your core so when we push uh, when we push the pin at the upwards up, upward side due to that sliding uh, angular slide movement of your uh, your pin and your slider that's why your part is going to uh, after some displacement your part is eject very easily the second example is a side core ejection from figure you can see that the component is ge is get molded uh, in the mold and there uh, is some undercut at the edge portion of your component so now uh, we have a task how to eject this component without any breakage as there is undercut at the edge area so first of all we uh, removes or uh, we moves the cavity side towards the upward or into the from the tooling direction now next task how to eject our part as there is a 
undercut so at the undercut area as we know that plastic is somewhat uh, flexible material that's why we uh, we forces uh, uh, at left side and uh, due to the flexibility the part is going to be eject so this is a side core ejection so we use the slider lifter at the side uh, co of the core side then pendulum ejection system so you can see uh, we design uh, the snap at that area and also we are using the pendulum type ejection pin there so when we push the first of all the component is get ejected as uh, every uh, portion of your component is in the tooling direction and after then we eject uh, the snap area easily as you can see in the image last one that is the force ejection so as we know that the plastic material is somewhat flexible that's why uh, while we are applying some extent of a uh, while we are applying some force then uh, your component is get ejected easily also uh, then multiple undercut section so you can see the image next that with side uh, lifters and then we push it upward due to same as we discussed previously the part is going to be eject so this is most important uh, if you are designer uh, before before designing or when designing you must have to think about the injection system whatever you are going to be design your part should be um, uh, uh, should be clear as per the tooling direction uh, then draft analysis most important uh, uh, why we are draft in a injection ejection uh, injection system or for plastic material uh, or a component draft should be necessary because of we have to we have to clear your component from tooling direction that's why we are using the draft analysis or a draft for every plastic component uh, then stages of a mold so study of a 3d component so during this uh, every design engineer should have to stress or a, should have to think before or when designing uh, such component like uh, such point like draft analysis then geometry definitely your geometry as much as a simplest uh, design should be required because if you are adding the uh, somewhat criticality during your design then uh, number of uh, sliders and lifters are going to be increased so definitely tooling cost and all these things are uh, came in the picture then any feature difficult to design or a manufacture so if there is any feature which is very difficult to manufacture then we have to think uh, redesign or a somewhat uh, uh, replacement of that feature uh, or also you have to think about uh, the tooling wise how we can eject that component from your uh, mold then fitment uh, dis uh, dimension definitely this is most important if you make the thinner uh, uh, thinner wall thickness uh, then during the fitment on a vehicle it will be break so that this consideration is most important uh, during the 3d designing for any uh, design engineer then preparation of a 2d concept then type of a mold is most important so what wh whatever the type number of a cavities orientation of a component then clamping uh, force or a tonnage then inj injection machine what kind of a machine you are using then parting is most important uh, because the butting is most important which uh, restrict the um, uh, li uh, restrict the flow of uh, your plastic or a plastic size molten material then gate and runner as we already discussed then insert constructions so whatever the inserts uh, or a sliders what whatever the slider inserts we are using so uh, the construction is most important as per the assembly assembly point of view and ejection point of view also then cooling layout and ejector locations so those are uh, some of uh, uh, stages of a mold design so those engineers who are designing the component and also designing the mold so those are few uh, important questions or uh, important points that they should have to keep in the mind so guys uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, stay connected with us that we are uh, we are going to uh, share the technical knowledge related to the plastic product design hope this will be help you for every engineer 
दोज हु वॉन्ट टू मेक अ करियर ऐज अ डिजाइन इंजीनियर और ए आई थिंक दज विल बी मोस्ट मोस्टली हेल्पफुल फॉर एवरी इंजीनियर्स हु वॉन्ट टू मेक दियर करियर इन अ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री गाइज थैंक यू हिट द बेल आइकॉन लाइक द वीडियोज शेयर द वीडियोज गिव गिव अस अ पॉजिटिव सपोर्ट थैंक यू सो मच